Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to do again a speed test between the Nexus 6P and the Google Pixel XL. So the motive of this comparison again is due to the Nexus 6P has got the final Android Nougat 7.1.1. So make sure to check that out, the detailed video in which I've shown you the top few features that you can get that. So both are running the latest with the latest December uh, 5 security patch level. So pretty much they're almost great. And I've been using Nexus 6P from the morning since I updated and it's working pretty great. Speaking about the boot time test for the both devices, Nexus 6P has a really upgrade compared to the previous beta and the earlier versions. This time it just took 44 seconds and 9 milliseconds compared to the Google Pixel XL which took 48 seconds and 20 milliseconds. So we'll go and start and do some speed tests. So as usual, I've taken the same launcher, no launcher try on both places. And these are the set of apps that we will be launching starting from some social apps and location based, some small games to heavy games. Then we will do browsing tests and some benchmarking results. All right, let's get started. So we'll launch starting with the Twitter. Three, two, one. Almost same time. YouTube. Almost same time. Instagram. A bit faster here on the pixel, but anyway. Facebook. Almost same time. So all the social and smaller apps uh, launched at the same time, not a problem. Now let's see uh, map, uh, Google Maps, which one does points my location first. So three, two, one. Slightly faster Pixel XL, but uh, almost comparable. So the biggest thing here now will launch uh, games here. The Surface Surface is the smallest game they couldn't get on the Play Store among these four. So three, two, one. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, Nexus 6P, slightly faster, but we will take it as a, you know, tie up because uh, just a fraction of seconds different. So Temple and 2, 3, 2, 1. I hope this time uh, P is not coming further. Oh great, almost same time. So looks like Nexus 6P is still a great buy. Even on 2016, you can get that on half a price. So no problem. We'll launch Dead Trigger 2. But loading is really faster on the Pixel due to you know uh, bigger, greater processor, 821 versus 808. You can see uh, Nexus 6P loads much faster compared to the Pixel. We saw the play button here earlier. So we'll do play here together, three, two, one. Let's see which one loads the game first. So both are going together. Pixel. Uh, at least a two second faster. Anyway, moving to the next game, which is x the Stream. So you see, I still was in the background. So, X for the stream in three, two, one. Look at that. A bit faster, Pixel XL. So we have seen all things here. Now we'll do some a uh, browsing test. Let's see which one loads the so Facebook.com first. Chrome in three, two, one. Almost same time. All right, that's great. So we'll launch now here some smaller apps like Play Store, three, two, one. Almost same time. Settings, almost same time. So we have launched almost many apps and we'll try to resume and see which phone does keeps the applications and the games in the memory so that will test so definitely the phones with a higher number of uh, ram is going to have advantage but let's see how does nexus 6p performs against pixel we'll resume twitter so reloads the data youtube see it refreshes again but pixel has all the data instagram almost kept in the memory Facebook 
in the memory maps refreshes nexus 6p this is a small application i don't know why now let's see how does the games perform here so uh, i don't know which one pixel should keep the memory because it has a higher amount of ram so survey surface resuming in 3 2 1 you can see uh, the pixel xl and pixel has the games in the memory already but nexus 6p unfortunately is reloading so it's bad for him all right temple land 2 3 2 1 pixel keeps the game in the memory again 6p is reloading all right let's see it's some bit heavier game dead trigger 2 even the resuming much faster on the pixel so 6p is reloading complete game so if you guys are playing a lot of games so make sure to check out these things like uh, if you left at a place and you come back then definitely you're not able to resume so now we'll see Xfold extreme so resuming in 3 2 1 so both are in the memory so looks like uh, uh, 6p had uh, this already a lot of ram occupied with the heavier games that's why it's pushing out the smaller games we'll see how much memory is left when opening the same games at the later let's resume google chrome and see facebook.com is reloading or not so both are in the memory perfect anything else left so we have resumed almost all so now let's see how much the memory is free since we have opened exactly the same number of amount of uh, games and application in both the phones so we'll go to the memory So here you can see guys, uh, uh, Nexus 6P when opening all the application took 1.6 GB of RAM and 1.9 GB of RAM. So these extra amount of RAMs are those, you know, uh, for the games and all. When you resume the same, the Nexus 6P is re reloading everything. That means it's already been pushed out from the games. Just the reference is in the memory and or you can see app switcher. So that is why it is uh, a bit more consumed. And due to, I guess, the Pixel has a limitation of 2 GB and after that it pushes out the games and application. That's why Pixel is able to store more number of apps and games in the memory. We will now see some of the benchmarking starting from the Geek benchmark. So while it is running, I want to show you guys some old archives starting from the Android 7.0 move to the beta 7.1.1 then we will see the 7.1.1 final so when it, any of the build running the final the scores were good when it moves to beta the scores are definitely changed but anyway guys if you just read in the score again you will see different results each time but on the final scores as you can see it's pretty good for both the pixel and the nexus 6p now we'll move to the end to benchmark so as usual when the product is in the beta stage scores went down when they moved to the final the scores are again great but compared to the android 7 versus final 7.1.1 scores are impressive uh, it's they have improved a lot so even the device personally i'm using is working great so this is the final result that you can see for both the devices running the same version of the end right in terms of loading the smaller applications and games uh, both phones were pretty much working great and uh, talking about the benchmark and score stuff definitely uh, due to pixel has a higher number of processor and clock speed so it's going to give more score when we are resuming uh, games so we see that Smaller games were pushed out of the memory on the Nexus 6P, but the Pixel retains all the applications and games in memory. So due to higher gigabytes of RAM and uh, better processor management due to advanced processor, you can see Pixel XL holds the things in the memory, but in the 6P, it was not that. Let me in the comments what you think about the results and, and if you have either of the devices, what was the scores and stuff you are getting. So do share me on my Twitter as a support. This is Saurabh. I'll catch you next video. Have a great day.